Hi, welcome to Victoria's Garden. Climate change affects plants in various ways. High temperature, drought, limited water, and flooding, these are some of the examples of climate change. All of this affects plants' health and growth. It will not only affect plants, it can also affect your soil conditions and structure that will result in nutrients deficiency. Heavy rainfall can contribute potassium deficiency, where potassium is easily washed away, more likely on light, sandy, or choky soil. In contrast, clay soils hold potassium within their structure. Potassium is needed for controlling both water uptake and the process of allowing plants to harness energy from the sun via photosynthesis. Potassium promotes flowering, fruiting, and general hardiness. Yellowing between the stems or left veins and purple spots on the leaf with browning at the leaf edges and poor flowering or fruiting are common symptoms of potassium deficiency. Plants' growth, roots, seeds, and fruits development are commonly reduced in potassium deficient plants. Inabsorbed moisture is needed for effective potassium uptake. Low soil water reduces potassium uptake by plants' roots. Liming acidic soils can increase potassium retention in some soils by reducing leaching. Practices that increase soil organic matter can also increase potassium retention. Compost completely made from loads of vegetable scraps and green materials, along with, the sum, with some woods ash or carbonized rice hull, is perfect for adding nutrients to your soil, including potassium. Banana peels are extremely high in potassium, so adding this to your compost frequently will benefit your soil. If you decide to use synthetic fertilizer, Apply high potassium fertilizer such as sulfate of potash, tomato feed, or add other organic potassium sources. As always been said, there is no substitute in proper maintenance and continuous learning in farming. Keep safe everyone. Happy farming!